Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica the Dancing Avon Lady, and today it's all about lips. Today we're testing out two new products, which has been the expansion of our new Vitamin C line, and this Oh my gosh, I saw it. I was like, oh, that's amazeballs because I've been waiting for Avon to come out with a brand new lip scrub for probably close to a decade. <laughs> We has we had a lip scrub about ten years ago um, through our Mark line that was made with rice bran and I loved it. The Mark line has since been discontinued here in Avon Canada. I know they have it in the Avon UK and probably some other countries, but not here in Canada. So I mean, when I when I saw a new lip scrub, I was like, yes, add to cart right now. This is um, a smoothing lip scrub from the Vitamin C line, and what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to tell you a quick little bit about both this and also the lip mask and then I'm going to test them out for you since they are related and what did I say a lip mask yes I did this is a vitamin C overnight lip mask again an expansion to the vitamin C collection I have never used a lip mask before I've used lip treatments lip balms lip ointments but I've never used a lip mask before so I am really interested to see what that is like so first off let's talk about the scrub so the scrub here it is a, uh, a product that is a hydrating lip scrub that is supposed to gently exfoliate and buff your lips to give it a more smoother texture even help even out the skin tone as well as it's supposed to help prepare your skin for intense hydration which right now my lips need i just finished my second dose of the covid vaccine and i develop a fever and every time i develop a fever my lips crack every single time like without a fail that's probably one of the first signs i'm slightly feverish is my lips they kind of do a funky thing like this and then it just screams love me jess i need some loving so <laughs> this one here is in, in, enriched with vitamin c and sugar crystals so the sugar crystals are going to be the exfoliating property of it it's supposed to help to gently just to kind of like remove the dead skin cells so i want to be interested to see how that's done in the past after i didn't have the mark line anymore i would mix a little bit of olive oil with the um with sugar like just white sugar and just rub that in worked fine but with vitamin c it's going to help even out the skin tone that'll be great i did notice that now that i'm becoming a little bit more mature the coloration of my lips are changing a little bit like i'm getting a little bit darker areas here i don't know what's causing it but it is yes guys i know i'm having massive skin issues lately once again i think my i don't know i'm i'm actually i met up with my doctor i'm seeing a dermatologist to see what could be going on i think it's probably honestly still something to do with my hormones because it gets worse with my monthlies um so that's that. If you want an update, I can update you, but that is my skin. It's actually a little bit better than a couple weeks ago, but yeah, yeah. Stress hormones shows on my face. I'm like an open book. So anyways, the feature of the a new vitamin C lip scrub is that it's supposed to hydrate and exfoliate your lips and it's hyperallergenic as well as dermatologist tested. And the key ingredients is vitamin C, which is a THD tetra hexy something linked up here for you, which helps to brighten. It has antioxidant benefits. It helps to refine your skin's texture as well as to visibly improve its tone. And then the other key ingredient in this is the sugar crystals, which it helps to scrub away the dead skin. So that's the actual, um, exfoliator in it so all you have to do you just take a little bit onto your clean lips and you rub massage it in and then you use a damp cloth which i've already prepared here look at me so organized and you just wipe it away according to the avon fast facts is that um this is perfect for anyone who wants a natural gentle exfoli uh, exfoliant for your lips as well as if you want softer and smoother lips with more even tone i mean who I don't know anybody personally that says, no, I don't want softer, smoother lips. I want hard, rough, uneven lips. I've never met anyone who said that. So that means everybody needs this. Even guys, 
Guys, you want soft lips, trust me. So let's open up this beauty first. I love the vitamin C line, how bright and sunny it is. It's so happy and cheerful. Just looking at it makes you just happy. Okay, ooh, okay, I like the packaging too. I've been loving packaging lately. Very simple, very clean, nothing fancy schmancy. The only thing is it's kind of hard to read with the white and the orange or I'm going to need reading glasses soon. <laughs> now, let's talk quickly about the lip mask. Now, my first question to you guys is, has anyone here ever used a lip mask? What are your thoughts on it? I've never used a lip mask. You use this at night or unless you work nights and you sleep during the day, then just use this before you take your longest sleep of the day. And uh, so while you sleep, this conditioning mask treats your lips with a powerful antioxidant vitamin C and nourishing shea butter. This moisturizing formula visibly improves your lip texture and you wake up to softer and smoother looking pout. Ugh. Also hyperallergenic, also dermatologist tested. According to what I'm reading, this is, you know how we have like leave-in hair conditioner? This is basically a, like a leave-on conditioner for your lips. Same idea. So it's supposed to help your lips be softer, smoother, and bringing them to a healthier looking state. So hopefully all this dry crackness will be gone. It's going to soothe my lips, which is awesome because I mean, when they're like this, they're also a little bit angry uh, because it's also going to increase the moisturization within my lips. The key ingredients in the overnight lip mask is vitamin C, which is for brightening the antioxidant benefits, as well as it helps to refine your skin's texture and improve its tone but also the shea butter it contains fatty acids and vitamins which will also help to probably moisturize your skin as well as soften your skin all you need to do with that is you're going to apply it generously to your lips in the evening and you leave it on overnight hopefully in the morning i'm going to have perfect lips that is the plan my friends that is the plan this is perfect for anybody who has lip care concerns and in need of an increased moisturization and antioxidant benefits to help take care of your lips. So I am a lip product addict. Really, I am. I have a drawer here and over half of it is filled with lip products. I love lip products. I love my lips. I love like just using things to take care of my lips. And so I am really excited to try this out. Let's open up the mask first. The difference between the packaging is that the scrub is kind of like this milky white and then the mask is this kind of like an orangey color. They both have an expiry date on the bottom so the shelf life is about three years long which is awesome. So what I'm going to do now guys I am going to test this out. I'm going to do a sniff test. I'm going to do a swatch and then we're going to do it on my face. Here is the scrub. I wonder how thick it's going to be. Ooh, it's kind of like frosting. How fun is that? Very light scent, which is nice here. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of has like this thickness to it. So it starts off kind of thick and then my body heat is kind of like warming it up a little bit to kind of give it a more, you know, wetter tone. Like it just feels a little bit more, almost, I, I, for lack of better words, oilier. I think it's going to be very gentle, but on my lips, it'll definitely I'll feel a little bit more because I can feel it on the back of my hand, but it's nothing like the micro, uh, micro needling polish shirt, nothing like that type of intensity. I smell nothing. I actually smell nothing on this right now. So that's interesting and good to know. And then let's swatch the mask afterwards. And I wonder if this is also quite scentless. Oh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. It's kind of like a lip balm. It's kind of, it looks kind of waxy. Interesting, it has a really pretty color. Almost like a peach. So pretty. Again, I smell nothing. I don't know if it's like something's going on with my nose, but let's try this out. Oh, 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 it looks waxy, but it is softer here. It's like a soft wax. I thought it was gonna be like a hard wax. Huh, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, okay. So let's watch this one down here. Yeah, it goes on really, really, it's not silky. I don't want to say it's silky, but it has like this really interesting thickness to it. And so it's definitely going to stay on my lips quite well. I smell just a little bit more of a citrusy scent to this more so than anything. Um, but it doesn't have to smell like it has any fragrance. Yeah, and just my body heat, you can see 
kind of like just melted it really fast. So it's going to like hopefully ooze into all the crevices on my lips, the ditches and the crevices and all the dark areas. Wait, that's getting weird. But anywho, um, let's actually do the scrub and now for the actual testing of the product itself. So let's see my lips before. I mean, they're not bad, but I know my lips have been a lot healthier. First off, we're going to do the scrub. We take a small amount. So I'm just going to do that much. I'm not going to do very much because, I mean, it's my lips, not my face. So I would say don't eat it, for one. It has, like, it tastes like I'm eating, like, a crunchy lip balm. <laughs> so don't eat it. But it, I would say let the product work on itself. I don't need to press hard at all. I'm just going to do a little bit of a gentle rub-a-dub-dub -dub on it. And then I'm just going to do my bottom lip first, and then I can feel different. So bottom lip done. Okay, wiped off a lot easier than I thought. I'm actually surprised that the, the, the sugar crystals didn't melt. Oh, I think I got rid of some, the dead skin that was here. My lips are definitely pinker. Okay, I feel pretty good. It's not burning right now, which is great. Like, if I feel here, I'm going to still feel all that dead skin here. Right here. It feels pretty soft. Like, I feel a little bit of the dead skin right here. But it might be just one of those things that it's going to take a few times before I get it all uh. So let's finish the top part of my lip. I wonder if this will help with any like acne around my lip area too. Mwah. Okay, nothing about my lip. It actually has a little bit of the sweetness in it because of the sugar crystals. I wouldn't suggest you to eat this. Doesn't taste bad, but the texture of it felt like I was eating a lip balm. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That one patch here is like virtually gone. That did its job. Woo, yeah. Oh, that I'm really happy with. Yeah, it feels less flaky already. Okay, so I'm not going to delay it too much, but now I'm going to do the lip mask. It says apply a generous amount. So I'm going to assume that this is kind of generous, like one finger full. I'm going to use a different finger. Oh, now that I can, now that it's on my lips, I actually smell it a little bit more. What does it feel like? It feels thick. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels, it feels very, like a very luxurious, melty, meltiness to it. Kind of like melty chocolate. Everything goes back to chocolate in this world. Yeah. It feels very comfortable on my lip. There's no burning or anything. So, all right. Now I'm going to bed, and we're going to see how this works till tomorrow. All right, so we'll wake up. Hopefully, I'll have, like, the most sumptuous lips I've ever had in my life. But you know what, though? Even on its own, it's actually a really pretty color. It just kind of enhances your natural lip color. See you in the morning. Good morning. It is now the next day after using the vitamin C lip mask. When I woke up in the middle of the night, I was thirsty, so I took a sip of water. I don't think that really made much of a difference because I still felt it on my lips. Even when I woke up this morning, I could still feel it on my lips. Obviously not as um, wet as yesterday or as oily, if you will, or, you know, um, as yesterday. But I could feel like there was something on my lips. Now, taking a look at my lips, it's all those flakes are virtually gone. Yeah. So I think that with regular use, it would definitely be helpful. Look at that. Like, it was so yucky yesterday. I think the combination of the lip scrub together with the overnight lip mask, they're like a dynamic duo. So I'm really, really, really happy with it. My lips do good. I didn't have a reaction sometimes. Um, if my lips don't like a particular product, what will happen is they'll actually get worse. They'll become more chapped as I use it. So they feel pretty good like they feel really nice and soft and everything i'll probably end up re keep using this at least once a week as long as i remember because it's something different than my usual routine but i'll probably try to aim to do it at least once a week only that one little patch left before like all of this felt extremely chapped again just a teeny tiny bit left so huge difference like significant difference guys all right 
So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know. Give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you want to hang out again, make sure you do click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. If you're interested in getting yourself either the vitamin C scrub or the overnight lip mask or both, make sure you do go to the link down in the description box below to get your hands on some of these beauties. And while you're there, check out that join Avon button and see whether or not starting Avon would be a wonderful fit for you where you can sell using your online store across Canada. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.